In this video I'll be showing you key commands or shortcuts that are used in the main window. First we'll talk about playback. Right click on play button and select behavior that suits you. In this example I want to start from cycle. Press C to activate cycle mode and spacebar to play. This way I can use the cycle area to focus on part of my project. To move cycle area select the region and press U. To focus on smaller sample use command U. This way cycle area won't be quantized to the grid. If you hold command and drag your mouse you can select the area and then activate cycle mode. The angle bracket keys move the playhead backward or forward one measure. Holding the shift key and using the angle bracket keys moves the playhead backward or forward eight measures. If you hold command key and click on the cycle mode you'll create skip cycle area. This can be useful when you review parts of your track. Now let's talk about key commands that work outside of cycle mode. Use shift and spacebar to start playback from the selected region. Or use option and spacebar to solo and loop selected region. This is a great way to quickly focus on a single region. Now let's talk about some of the viewing options. You can select a region and press Z to zoom in, or enter zooming mode by pressing Ctrl Z. In this mode, selected track will be extended. If you want to reverse a track, you can use Ctrl Shift R key command, or bring up region menu by pressing Option Shift R, where you can reverse your track and access other settings of the region. Next, let's talk about selection key commands. You can use arrows to jump between regions. Press Shift F to select all the following regions. Shift D to reset selection. Control Shift F to select following regions on the same track. Option C brings up color palette, where you can change colors of your region, which can be great for editing and navigating your project. To copy a region, you can hold Option key and drag your mouse. Shift C will select same colored regions. Shift S selects similar regions. In this case it's audio. By pressing Shift N we can rename all the regions. If you select the MIDI region and press Shift S, all the MIDI tracks will be highlighted. And now by pressing Shift N we can also rename them. Next key command will be useful if you tend to use a lot of samples. You can pick a region and press Shift E. All the same samples will be selected across your project. Press Ctrl M to mute selected regions. This is great if you want to try out new arrangement ideas, but want to keep the regions in place. Press Shift M to select all the muted regions. So now you can unmute them by pressing Ctrl M again. If your cycle mode is active, you can press Shift L to select all the regions in that area. Shift I will invert your selection. This is useful if you want to keep certain part of your track. Hold Option key and use arrows to notch your region. Press return to reset your playhead. Column key will move region to the playhead. If you have multiple selected regions, you can use option and square bracket to stack them to your left or right side. Next, let's talk about editing key commands. You can extend cycling area by dragging your mouse. Press Ctrl Command Z to insert silence in the highlighted area. This is useful when you want to create a new section in your track. Now let's select a part of the track and press Ctrl Command R. This will duplicate this section and move everything to the right, as opposed to traditional Command R copying, which will layer regions on top of each other. Now let's select a region and hold Option key. This way you can drag and stretch your audio files. It works the same way with MIDI regions. Like this you can create slower chord progressions or stretch your melodies. Hold Command key to switch to Marquee tool and make a selection. Clicking on it will trim it automatically. To avoid leftovers you can use Cycle mode and press Command backslash. You can also use your playhead to trim your files. Simply move your playhead and press Command T. Pressing Ctrl X will bring up Remove Silence window. This way you can quickly remove any gaps in audio. Next you can select a few regions and press Command J. It will join and create single track. 
This feature works great with MIDI regions as well. Hold Option key and use arrows to pitch the region up or down. You will see number of semitones next to the name. Shift Option arrow will change pitch in octaves. If you're ready to commit to this file, you can press Ctrl B. It will bounce this MIDI file into audio. Most of the functions in Logic Pro are attached to key commands. Press Option K to open key command window. Here you can use keywords to find specific shortcuts. It's very easy to reassign keys and create custom layout. Memorizing main key commands will speed up your workflow, so you can be focused on creative tasks 